Well, how y'all are this afternoon? This is your buddy George Jones over at the Bargain Gun Range with my next installment on let's, 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 I don't know what we're doing. One of the subscribers sent me a question in comments. What is a dumb, dumb bullet? And how did a dumb, dumb bullet get started? Well, I got this question about two years ago in comments. And, um, you know, and I talked about it on a video. So I thought this time what we'd do is we'd make us a dumb, dumb bullet or two and actually shoot them and see how they actually shoot. Now, what a dumb, dumb bullet is, uh, the Indian Army and the British were having a little problem back turn of the century or back in the 1880s with... Uh, with a group of people that were basically trying to take India away from the Indian people as well as trying to take it away from the British. And, you know, some people out of the stands or whatever, you know. Uh, so the British had a rifle called a Betterly, which was a big 40 caliber 50, 45 caliber, 46 caliber, maybe even 50 caliber, rim fire bottleneck cartridge rifle of um, European origin. And they found that these people that they were trying to shoot, the bullets weren't very effective because they were black powder, mercury priming, lead bullet, big slow bullet going about 750 feet a second out of a rifle. You know, and they had the enemy would chew cot and get higher than a Georgia pine and not realize they had been shot the first time and it was beginning to get to be a problem for them. So the British had an arsenal in India called the Dum Dum Arsenal, kind of like the Insipore Arsenal. So someone at the Dum Dum Arsenal come up with the idea of taking a the lead bullet and cutting an X in the end of the lead bullet to make it an expanding bullet. And you see this done in gangster movies and that sort of thing sometimes. I think they did it in the movie Taxi Driver. You know, it was the first time I ever saw it. Uh, and the question is, it's getting very hard to get hollow point ammunition today. So people are taking lead bullets and trying to cut them dumb dumb and make them more effective as a defensive round. So the question is, if you take a hacksaw or a pocket knife and you cut an X in the end of that bullet, how does it affect the accuracy? So we're going to try that out today. So I've got two dirty birds up down here at seven yards. And I've got two... Uh, three. How many did I make? I don't know how I made a few. Three. Four. <clears throat> five. I've got five rounds that I've modified. Soft point jacketed, jacketed soft point 357s that I've modified. And we're going to fire a few of those. And then we're going to fire a few of regular uh, jacketed hollow points. And we're going to find out whether or not making that bullet into a dum-dum caused an appreciable effect on accuracy. So here we go. We've got the old, old reliable L frame today. And uh, we'll just load this guy up. Put about five in it. This ammunition right now is about $60 for a box of 50. <laughs> it's pretty expensive stuff. All right, well, let's try a couple on single action. We'll do a couple on double action. And this gun is loud with this ammunition in it. So we're going to give it a try right here at the bottom seven yard target. Mm, wait a minute. That's not right. All right, let's try the at the bottom seven yard target. Oh, 
Okay. I don't think we're going to have to run this test any farther, just to tell you the truth. Let's go down here and look at it. So at 7 yards, standard defensive range, 21 feet. Uh, I don't think it's going to be necessary to shoot the other target, just to tell you the truth. Now this is 5 rounds, so I've got 2 bulls, a 10, a 9, and an eight at seven yards. Uh, if your point of aim was a man's sternum, any one of those would be an incapacitating, accurate shot. So, we're just gonna end it right there. So cutting a bullet dum-dum, you know, that gun shoots a lot better than that. Uh, I've used this gun in competition for many, many years, and this gun actually shoots better than that okay but you know you're talking about three bullseyes in a row or two bulls in a ten at this range I'm gonna say that on this test with this ammo and this gun there is not a appreciable or negative effect on accuracy by cutting a dum-dum bullet at least on a 357 Magnum revolver cartridge. Well, all right then, there's your answer. Uh, send me another dumb question, I'll give you a dumb answer. Like, take, share, pie, commentate, and subscribe. Leave me an old dollar in the Patreon bucket on the way out the door, and if you don't want to do that, I'll keep right on making content for you. Uh, God bless everyone, and join the NRA. We'll see y'all.